All right. Wu Tang. <laughs> I love how Dave Chappelle used to say that on the Chappelle show. <laughs> Wu Tang. Wu Tang. <laughs> He'd always do that shit. That was great. Only built for Cuban links. Raekwon. 1995. 18 tracks, an hour and 13 minutes, uh, five music videos. The music videos will be Patreon only. Patreon's two bucks a month. Get some extra stuff from there. You get Discord access. I've been posting up. I've been doing a couple um, live streams where I listen to singles, reactions. Those are on there. Um, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> it's been a long-ass week for me. It's been hot, extra hours, lots of work. And uh, when I pulled it up this morning, the album, I went, oh, God damn it, right? 18 songs. Oh, <laughs> all my oldness started pouring out. <laughs> but I started setting up. You know, I put on fucking Fourth Chamber. Love that song. I put on uh, Protect Your Neck. I put on Bring the Fucking Ruckus. You know, it's just, once I started listening to Wu Tang, I was like, nah, I'm good. And that was a nice experience for me because. It, it shows me that even, you know, two years in, tired, or what, it, like, you know, sometimes you get up, you just don't want to do shit, right? We all have those days. And then music comes back around and just puts blood right back into my veins. I start feeling alive again. <laughs> so that's nice. Now with this album, I remember when I did the reaction to Liquid Swords, people were saying the Liquid Swords was kind of like the winter album to this album, which is a summer album. But... People took the time to point out to me recently when I said I was going to do one, this one this week. It's it's a summer album in that, you know, it's kind of like that's the 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 time period. It's, it's hot. It's summer. It's not like nice and, you know, we're going down to the park and we're by the beach. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> I, which makes me think of the summertime that Chance the Rapper was talking about. The summertime that he doesn't want to have happen. You know, he wants it to keep raining so it doesn't get hot, so people aren't going out and fucking killing each other and all this other stuff. And then I got a lot of messages, a great great write-up from Will. Thank you, Will, about just everything. Some other people as well talk about how this is essentially like this mafioso, mobster, gangster type setting, and there's different characters and, and all this other shit. Uh, I did get a warning. Like the, the lyrics are going to be complex. Probably a lot of shit that's going to go over my head. That's okay. You know, that happens a lot. It's fun. Sometimes sometimes I get on these little uh, rabbit holes and sway off base, right? But it ends up being good, silly fun when I just make a fool out of myself. <laughs> and then a lot of people have said, too, that this album, specifically the sound, the, sound, the style, etc., this is kind of really spilled forward into hip hop. A lot of people started emulating what was going on here. Um, so let's get rolling. 18 tracks. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say. You know, 36 Chambers is great. Liquid Swords is great. Moving on to this one. Only built for Cuban leaks. I'm, I understand that it's the necklace. Apparently the necklace represents like being a, a leader of a, you know, I don't know, say gang, but anyway. Uh, and let's jump in. I guess that's it. Kind of a short opener. I must be tired. I'm not even willing to ramble on for five pointless minutes at the beginning of the video. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm excited. I'm excited to hear some more Wu-Tang. It's been a little while. All right, track one is called Striving for Perfections featuring Ghostface Killers produced by RZA. Here we go. Drop it in. The first time listening ever. Only built for Cuban links. Striving for perfection. Perfection. And it's kind of like a little, I assume it's like a little skit, maybe? I don't know. Yo, son, check the fly shit, son. Yo, baby, check it, man. I got a new connect, son. For real, man. Fuck all this 24 break shit, man. My man got out of state for 15. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we I'm not trying to just be sitting on motherfucking 200,000 and acting like I'm going to just be a drug dealer all my life, son. I got bigger and better plans, son. No doubt. We going to move on, man. Son. I'm going to pause during a skit. My wife and I have been watching The Wire, the show The Wire, the HBO show. We just, we just, we're fully into it now. We're halfway through season three. Fucking love it. And we're at the part, for those of you who are familiar with the show, we're at the part where uh, Strainer, Idris Alba's character, is, uh, is essentially going legit. Like he's taking all the drug money and like getting businesses up and running and properties and all these other things. It's essentially going legit. And 
we all have opinions about drugs and drug dealers and what should happen to them and all this other stuff. But, you know, I, not that I want to say I want to give somebody a pass, but when, when somebody has no options, essentially no options, and, you know, they start selling drugs to make money, to survive, to get by, and then they start making money and then they have extra, I'm oddly okay with somebody using that to get out of their situation and like this guy say right now, I'm not trying to be a drug dealer all my life. You know, I've got bigger and better plans. Like, I'm oddly, not that it's okay, but like somebody using that as a stepping stone to get out, you know, and then go do something legit. Now, if they use a $200,000 to like suck this drug empire, well, okay, I'm not really into that either. But, you know, it, it's just... Anyway, there you go. I, it's an interesting situation. Uh, to me, it's not cut and dry. I don't think anybody really strives to want to be a drug dealer. I'm sure there are plenty of people who want to make hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars and have... Ma sure, I get that. And they think, oh, I can sell drugs. Again. But I, I've never really heard anybody, oh man, I can't wait to be a... I can't wait to stand on the corner and try and sell drugs to fucking fiends. That would be great. <laughs> so much better than my nine to five. The love and the trust is there, son. You're gonna grow, God. You're gonna grow like a plant, son. For real, son. Come on, you know my man. You know how my heart feels, though, God. For show, God. For real. This is my last time, God. This is my last time. I'm hanging this shit up. Cool. Let's drop in a knucklehead. Just let it roll. I like this slow kind of impatient intro into the album. Really fucking setting the scene here. You can hear shells loading. Cool. Cool. My feet are already <laughs> underneath the desk, just like bouncing with the beat. So I'll pause real quick. I already want to like listen in the car. Like it's just fucking cool sometimes how production will, it, it just puts you in these moods, you know? And it's like this with all music. It's not like hip hop is the only thing to do this. Metal fucking does this to me all the time. If where there's fucking heavy and long distorted riffs or sheer fucking fast shit or whatever. Like, but this opening, this opening bit, this opening beat, and I'm almost kind of laughing at myself because I feel like I've gone full circle where when I started all this shit, it was, I was so focused on lyrics. I was trying to read the lyrics. And, I and now I'm like all the way on the other side almost where I'm listening, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not listening at all. I, it's just this fucking cool little beat. Cool little beat. And I, I the vocals, feel they sound great. And, you know, I feel like, Normally, I would have mentioned, oh, yeah, you can tell, you know, the audio quality is different. I don't even fucking care. Like, I think that opening skit is perfect for this album in the sense of it just shifts your mind and your focus into this lane. And this is where we're going to exist. It's almost like a movie. You know, you see the opening scene for the movie and it's fucking, you know, people riding horses and covered wagons and old, you know, wooden store. Show. Oh, it's a Western. And you're just, okay, this is where we're going to exist. And you don't care about. Well, how come nobody's doing this? Nope, this is where we are. This is this is giving me the same thing. Uh, there was a line that I saw, though, that I did not understand. Mail a guy about 100 pictures. Guns and Glocks for them who got props off top. Jill. <laughs> yeah, this is, the lyrics are going to be complicated and confusing for me. Mail a guy about 100 pictures. What does that mean? 
Possibly males, the jail person picks up proof that he did something wrong and could be in trouble. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Every now and then I like to do my uh, Minecraft hums. Hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> like the fucking villagers. I'm aware of Johnny Blaze and Tony Stark's being like the, their their aliases for the characters in this album or something like that. I didn't pay any attention to the, a fucking thing this guy said. I was just so settled into the boot. Let's drop into the verse two. The verse two. <laughs> and maybe, maybe I can actually pay attention to the lyrics a bit. Who's the knucklehead? Want and respect. Top his fingers in the drug game. Money well known. Least thing a home thing. A flash is the aftermath. Here's this photograph. Run up in his lap. Take off the mask. Chaz and think fast. Don't laugh. Bag the cash. Grab the hash. Don't forget his stash. Grab the tear gas. And place it in his face fast. A full blast. The, the the flow right here is is so like nice and tight with the production like you just can't help but fucking bounce around like this shit this is great <laughs> i don't even know where the hell we are in the lyrics I did get a message too. I think Will, you said this was. I guess one of the one of the members had to go to jail while this was being recorded, and so they kill off his character in this album or something like that. So I'm kind of paying attention to that. So that gets a heart, obviously, clearly, because I'm coming into this going, oh, okay, there's like a, a theme, a setting, kind of even a story, and the the production. It kind of blows me away because. If I if I zoom out a little bit and like and like you know, analyze the production, I go, oh okay, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty clean, not a lot going on, and fucking perfect. Like it's weird how that works sometimes, right? And maybe it's just my mood. Maybe being a little tired is, is good. Maybe uh, with my brain not firing on all cylinders, I can settle into the sound easier, just not fucking worry about it so much. And sometimes my brain does a good job of just like winding up a little too much. But I, I'm, I'm like mildly concerned that I'm just going to settle into the sound so much. I'll miss the story because I love getting a good story from the album, especially if there's like a theme and they're playing through and they got characters and all this other shit. This verse two. So I'm keeping in mind the skit, you know, the brain to God. I swear to God, this is the last one. I just, you know, this is the last time. This is, they, they want out, but they're still fully in, obviously. Talking about run up in his lab, take off the mask, chase and think fast, don't laugh, bad cash, grab the hash, don't forget the stash, you know, tear gas in his face, all this other shit. Crates like disco breaks. Yo, look out for Jake's. Jake's is Jake brakes. That's like an, an engine break when you they when the big trucks use the engine as their brakes. They call it Jake brakes. Crates like disco brakes. Yo, look out for Jake's. Give it all it takes. Let's burn the place before we motivate. You got his fucking flow was great. It wasn't, you know, there's nothing, again, there's something interesting about simplicity and that, you know, just sometimes that concept of less is more. And this, this, this song was like the perfect example of less is more. The rap scars on rap Parmesan, <laughs> poke on, put a seal on it, silicone. This rap phenomenon to correspond, took the arms, hit me on the hip and horns, rap chaperone. Hmm. Be on your rap sword defense. These microphone professionals are so fully operational. I got people here to play with you. You know the Steez. You know my whole program. Brothers from the No Land. All we want is the G's, guns and grams, living fat like Hoffa, mafia, sipping, eating pastas, laying in the house, telling the seeds about the sagas. Don't forget to uh, tuck in your napkin to your shirt because you're mobbing like that. Anytime, anytime I get to put a little poke on Drake, <laughs> I get so happy about it. <laughs> Before we got dramatic and thoughts got sporadic, we grabbed golden tablets and quick guarded the abbots. I don't know the abbots. Slugs hit the pelly, punch holes into the belly. Suckers tried to knock me out the box like Skelly. What's that about? Skelly was a game played in New York up until children started playing on the internet. Basically, the game is one person 
is the killer and they have to knock everybody out of their boxes. Interesting. Ah, interesting. Cool track. Cool track. Let's keep rolling. Track three is called Knowledge God. Uh, Rayquire produced by RZA. Track two was produced by probably just RZA. Yep. Okay. Track three, Knowledge God. So far, the style of the production has fully captured me. I'm just in this setting. I like these like hesitation. Cool drop. Piano is fucking cold, cold, cold. Uh. Something about this production is fucking fantastic. And there's a part of me that thinks, I remember before I started listening to rap, hip hop, thinking, you know, how it's all just, the, all the drum beats are the same. That's kind of a, a bullshit summary of the bullshit I used to think, right? And you can take that bullshit idea and apply it to rock and fucking R&B and pop, right? It all sounds the same if you don't actually sit and listen to it. But it is interesting how, like with this beat, it's just a fucking drum beat. Basically, that, that piano, that little like stripe of piano that flushes through every now and then is fucking great. Great. It really adds this kind of just like cold, sinister uh, aesthetic to the beat but i'm sitting here just kind of listening to the beat enjoying the beat again just kind of you know fucking bobbing around as i suppose i should since i call myself bob and i was thinking you know it's just a fucking drum beat like you could put this drum beat on anything like like there's nothing specific about this drum beat that makes it i suppose notable or whatever and it's like it, but it doesn't fucking matter it's something it works it works and while I was listening to this, in the back of my brain, all this shit was like spiraling out of, you know, metal songs and, and rock songs where you could say, yeah, the riff, there's nothing, there's just something about it, right? Try to explain to people, why do you like this song so much? I don't know, but I do. <laughs> so I kind of have this, this dual layer of the outside perspective going, why do you like this so much? And then the inside perspective going, because it's amazing. But why is it amazing? I don't know. But it is. Let's get into verse one. By the way, I seen your bitch. She was up in this cat's room, skied up, weaved the fuck up to top it off. Look, beat up with two crack fiends hugging your seed. And then there is the sound of a baby crying. I took care of that, though. Don't worry about it. I got your back. That's kind of wild. One of his men claims he's seen his girlfriend with two crack fiends and the fucking baby's there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, I, you know, I'm keeping in mind this is all part of the, the story, right? So it's just the fiends, but that's it. That's, that's kind of a wild, wild little element there. And then I don't really remember anything from verse 2 because I was, my mind was just doing all this crazy, stupid, pointless bullshit, right? Crazy piece. Buying keys in Greece with a rich person. Picture the person without dough figures. Kind of with his chick rocking the gold vigor. Mafia flicks. Tying up tricks was his main hobby. Teaches his seed Wu Tang. So I feel like this is a character I need to pay attention to, and I haven't paid any attention. The fucking production is just—it's—it's it's clean, precise. It's just like great minimalist, but it, I love it. I love it. 
<laughs> Let's keep rolling. I don't know why. I'm I'm just surprised that I'm I'm being pulled away by the production because I feel like the production itself. I don't have anything to say about it in terms of describing why I enjoy it so much, but I fucking do. What's today's mathematics? That's gotta be like figures. What's today's numbers? What's the plan? Maybe like we're gonna go get money. How are we gonna go get the money? What's the numbers? I don't know. Or maybe maybe it's like the tally, the final tally on it. There is this cool little, I didn't notice before, but in the background, there's just this little bit of piano element in the production too. It's really subtle keys being played. One thing I'm really impressed with is too how, you know, I know it's just Raekwon and it's not necessarily the Wu-Tang and all this other shit, but you, know, you compare this to 36 Chambers and how different it is already. I love that, I love that, it's wildly different. It's just, it's, it's pretty sinister, honestly, so far. Just the, the general kind of underlying tone. I feel like something awful is going to happen. And I'm waiting. For it, like it's creeping up on me kind of a deal. Track four is called Criminology. It's featuring Ghostface, produced by RZA. Let's jump in, track four. Let's keep this shit rolling. I told you a long time ago. Again, just fucking straightforward, clean drum beats. Yo, bust the voice, son. Beat the arson. Many brothers, I be sparking and busting, man. Like inside the dark, and call me dough snatcher. Just the brothers, the rapture. I hang glad, holding on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant, rhythm break the track and it's militant. Then I react like a convict and start killing shit. The gods work like appliances, dealing in my cipher. Cool fucking breakdown too, right there. Seventy max or more that street niggas knowin' my steeds black raw G. You know we coincide with me, see marvelous men is both society. But anyway, left toast, champagne thoughts with ghosts. I match the most shotguns through the nose. Yo, fuck that criminology rap. Sneaker state jet black floating in the flies. At nigga, love this breakdown right here. And I'm glad we get time to sit in it for a while. Nice, it kind of weave in that other portion of the production right there. Fucking cool, man. I, again, there's still this part of me from the outside, the old me, who would be like, I don't get it. How come you like this so much? It's just, just cool. Like I was thinking just now, these first two tracks, they all got hearts. And this is the kind of music where when you put it on in your car and you drive around, it don't matter. You just kind of feel like a badass, right? Like, it's just something about it. Something about it. It's fucking cool. Let's see if there's any lyrics to break down. I feel like the lyrics were kind of straightforward in this sense, but let's let's go through stuff a little bit. You got this intro, you know, you don't fuck around with me and all this other shit. Who do you think you are? Who do you think I am? And you think I'm a fucking bellboy? You want to go to war? <clears throat> Peep the arson. Many brothers, I'd be sparking and busted mad light inside the dark. Call me Doe Snatcher, just the brother for the rapture. <laughs> I like Doe Snatcher. That's a good name. A hang glide, holding on strong, hard to capture. Extravagant Rizza back, baked the trach, and it's militant that I react like a convict and start killing shit. <laughs> good shit, man. You tried to flee, but you got smoked up by the doorway. No question, I send your ass back to the yes, since the whole, your whole frame is smothered in dirt now. How are you resting? Huh. I did like the part too, throwing people off airplanes because cash rules, cash rules, and they kind of did a little bit, you know, just like a snippet of cream, cash rules, everything around me. That was neat. 
in case black buzz back like 70 max i'm all that street people know my city's black that's a marvelous menace for society but anyway let's toast champagne thoughts with ghosts i like that the old lady snitched but fuck it you know what one love kid no i'm not doing a bid too much to too much to get for what because six people got stuck and the chain and the chain was truck i don't get it a truck train is a large flashy chain. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's keep rolling. That was good. This is cool. I really enjoyed this thus far. Track five is called... Track five is called Incarcerated Scar Faces. Scarface, of course, the legendary uh, character played by Al Pacino in the movie Scarface. Starring Scarface. <laughs> Track five, Incarcerated Scar Faces. He looks determined without being ruthless. Something heroic in this man. We're not supposed to trust anyone in our profession anyway. Ha ha ha. I can't, man. I, there's just something about it. Hold on, me and the RZA connect. That's what Jay Z was saying in Watch the Throne on New Day. Me and the RZA connect. I love that song, New Day. I think that's fantastic. I wonder if that was a nod. Because I think RZA did their production on that track too. I wonder if that was a nod. I I have been told that uh, I guess Jay-Z was a big fan of this album or this one inspired Reasonable Doubt, which I love Reasonable Doubt. I think that's a fucking phenomenal album. Uh, anyway, all right. Sorry for fucking up that flow. Hourglass heads, niggas be wanting. Shutting down your slot time for pumping. Poisonous sting, which dumps up and act chunks. Raise a heavy generator. But yo, guess who's the black trump? Dope be flowing by the hours. Woo, we got the collars, scholars. We're like, peace the power in my whole unit. Word up, quick to set it. Don't wet it. Real niggas lick shots. Peace, Connecticut. Now, yo, yo, what up, yo? Time is running out. It's for real, though. Let's connect politics. Ditto. We can trade places. Get lifted in the stairs. Cases, word up, peace to concentrate star faces. But all I need is my house, my gat, my act. Bank account fat is going down like that. That means the Allen is statin and niggas can't be gatsin. Man, police from Manhattan. Now, yo, yo, what up, yo? Time is running out. It's for real, though. Let's connect politics. Ditto. We can trade places. God, word up, peace to concentrate star face. It's just so fucking clean, man. It's just... I know I keep saying the same thing over and over, repeating phrases that essentially have no meaning. <laughs> but I can't, I can't like formulate it into words. It's just, there's just something just fucking clean and precise, less is more type of a thing. It's great. It's great. And I love I love the energy that's on 36 Chambers, but this is almost like the yin to that yang type of a thing. Just fucking cool. It's kind of like the difference between you think of uh, a ratty gr like like you know, let's let's kind of stick with the 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 mobster gangster theme of the album. 36 Chambers would be you know, the gang of like seven or eight guys walking around, you know, they're raising hell and then people are kind of steering clear. Oh shit, here they come. Nobody's fucking with them because it's, you know, it's the clan, right? Here they come. Fucking all these guys raising hell. This album is like the loner in the dark fucking alley who will kill you without even making a sound type of a thing. Like just clean, calculated knows how to avoid all the people that are looking for um you know gets to the fucking target type it's like that it's just it's cool <laughs> it's very cool i also i was thinking too as i was listening to these lyrics i feel like i feel like a bit of a story is being told and i feel like i'm missing it because on the surface level 
it, it seems like he's just kind of like rapping about a lifestyle perhaps and but I, I feel like there there is something that's being said here and I'm not I'm not catching it it's I'm I'm missing it the thug related style attract millions of fans they understand my plan who's the kid up in the green land me and Riza connect well if lose you lose half ass crews get demolished and bruised and that opening skit was talking about you know no more aids we're just doing what was it key I can't remember fucking anymore so I feel like this is an element to that story. Fake fronting, hourglass heads be wanting, shutting down your slot, time for pumping, poisonous thing. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm not... And there's two mentions of Trump here. Guess who's the black Trump? Is this the person with all the real estate? When Cuban Links released in 95, Donald Trump had attained celebrity for his... Ostentia, I can't pronounce this word. Displays of wealth. While he'd been criticized by some in the black community... For a 73 Department of Justice lawsuit alleging house discrimination against black renters and his attempts to publicly demonize the five black Latino youths wrongfully convicted of rape in the 89 Central Park jogging case. Jesus. He was held up by many rappers as a symbol of the wealth they aspired to or claim to have. Interesting. Which makes sense. I mean, this is back in the 90s. This is well before he ran for president. So people kind of referencing Trump there, you roll really like Trump, you get your meat loved. It makes it, you know, just showing off all this money, having all this money, right? And I, I, the reason why I clicked on the annotation, I was curious to see if it was going to reference, like, maybe trying to hold property, you know, if you're dealing drugs. Because I know so much now from watching The Wire, right? You got to hold your corners, right? You got to have your crew. You need muscle. <laughs> It ain't just so, it ain't, it's so easy to just stand there and sell drugs. No, no, no. There's a lot more that goes into the fucking logistics, you know? Logistics and selling drugs. <laughs> Let's keep rolling. God, I just love the fucking sound of this. You know, and it, I said at the beginning of the video, I almost didn't say how I was tired and shit. But I'm kind of glad I'm tired. Because if I was all amped up, I might not be clicking with this as well. But because I am tired and I kind of want to just fucking lay back a little bit, like this album is, feels like it's perfect for that. Perfect. Let's keep rolling. Niggas, yo, they be folding like envelopes. Under <laughs> folding under like envelopes. I like that. Yo, Africans denying niggas up in yellow cash. Must be like fuck. Waving their arms to A-Rap. Sit back. Cooling like a was on rocks. On the crack spots. Bubble band rap. All my knocks. Few bitches who fuck dreads. On pseudo feds. Pussies hurting. They did it for a yard for the feds. What up, cousin? Nigga, I seen it. Like a 27 and seen it. Believe it. I love this background sound too. Ooh. Fucking cool. I can't mimic the sound with my voice. I ruined it by trying to. <laughs> but I love that background sound. And I have really enjoyed how patient each song has been so far. It's not like hurry up and get through it and then there's the end and now it's like, oh, we, we roll into it and we roll out of it. Yeah, this is fucking cool, man. Very cool. We are, I'm saying four for four, we're five tracks in, but four for four because, you know, it's just the first one's a skit. Let's see, track six is called Rainy Days. Featuring Blue Raspberry, Ghostface Killer, produced by RZA. Let's drop in. Let's keep this shit going. I feel like double meaning here in terms of you know rainy days, these tough days, but also it's contemplating like these thoughts while inside during a rainy day, kind of looking out the window, thinking about shit. My man is going insane. It's going to get colder and darker. God, these fucking beats are great. <laughs> Pistol 
the dough flow like penmanship. I do like this idea of it's raining, he's changing, he's going insane. Because if, so there, I'm trying to cling to the little bits of story element that I've caught. And, you know, the opening skit and, you know, I'm trying to do more with my life. I ain't trying to be a drug dealer forever. You know, we're trying to make some money, all this other shit, right? But we've got to do one more job. And then we've kind of, in these opening tracks, have kind of just kind of going through that whole thing. But what's neat about this is, is right now it feels like he is not getting out. He's getting pulled in, pulled in. He's going insane. It's raining, you know, not necessarily, you know, literally raining, but just like the metaphor of the storm is getting worse before it's getting better type of a thing. And so, so far, this album has done a great job of, of keeping this darker tone. And like I was saying earlier, I was waiting for something bad to happen. Like if I could just feel like it was creeping up on me in the sound of the album. And now I feel like it's right here. Like it's, it's about to pounce type of a thing. That's what it seems like. I mean, that's just a feeling I'm getting. Who fucking knows if I'm right, but let's keep rolling. This is a great track. And I think a lot of that creeping up on me sinister feel is because the album has been so patient so far. If it was faster and more energy and just kind of popping in and out of tracks, it wouldn't feel that way. The beat breaks, cause all my niggas to break, son. Styles are similar to criminals locked up with gats. Ghetto tabernacles is fucked up. I live once, though. The mind stays infinite. Traveling to touch nine planets in my midst while I carry to earn a decent salary. Soon get married, raise a family, but the plan will be real great. To sit up in the law, camp stacks and max, and real cats go watch my back. Peace to Philly. He's going insane. He's going insane. <laughs> this is great. He's going insane. I'm gonna let it finish and we'll chat about that second verse because there's a lot being said there. I've lost him to the street life. Interesting. I wonder what the point of that was. Cool. It's cool. Man. <laughs> Definitely the storm has arrived. That, that little pause where it sounded like there was kids running by or screaming or something like that, where the, the beat went away, that it came back again. That was I'm very, very curious right there, what that is, what that's for. Let's talk about track, or verse two. What brings rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes? The beat breaks because all my people, or cause all my people to break, son. Size is similar to criminals locked up with gats. Ghetto tabernacles is fucked up. I live once, though my mind stays infinite, traveling to touch nine planets in my mist while I carry to earn a decent salary, soon get married, raise a family, but the plan will be real great to sit up in the loft, count stacks and max, and real cats cold, watch my back. So he still has this idea of getting out, getting out, but the song opens up with, you know, somebody just robbed my gate, I'm going to go fucking kill somebody, like he's getting sucked He's not getting out. He's getting sucked in further. It's all real. Starving individuals kill. I puff what's only right. Leave the poison alone. Projects infested with rats, cats, and crack homes. Half of us trying to make it. The other half will try and take it. So many fake, half-real freedom build. Born to science, my alliance analyzes. Wild surprises. Keeping my eyes wide to this. Wild surprises keeping my eyes wide to this so trying to see this 
I think this is an important line right here. Because what I'm getting from it is trying to keep my eyes wide to wild surprises. Basically trying to see what's coming before it happens, right? But you can't see a surprise coming. You know? The, one of my favorite movies of all time is No Country for Old Men. And there's a scene about halfway through where, uh, God, I can't remember the actor's name, Josh Brolin. He's, you know, he basically, he's trying to hunt down the killer now. Anyway. He's out by this pool. There's this girl there. She's laying there. She's like, hey, sports fan or whatever, because he had bought like this hunting rifle. You know, who are you looking for? Oh, you know. She's like, she's trying to get him to hang out by the pool with her and drink beer. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, I know what drinking beer, you know, leads to. And she's all, beer leads to more beer, all this other shit. And she asks him, you know, what are you looking out for, my wife? Oh, what else then? Just whatever's coming. And then she says, yeah, but nobody ever sees that. And that's my fucking... <laughs> Probably one of my favorite lines in cinema ever. Nobody ever sees that. What's coming? Because you don't. Because you don't know. That's what, but I, it's, I love it. I'm nerding out a little bit. I need to calm down. But I like this line. Wild surprises. So this guy is fucking, you know, he's getting sucked in. He wants out. He knows he wants out. He's even trying to plan to get out. He's getting sucked in. And he knows he's getting sucked in. You know, this the female vocals in this, I'm assuming, are kind of playing this part of his, uh, you know, his girl, and she's watching him go crazy. And part of going crazy is trying to anticipate what you cannot anticipate, because if you're really focused on that, if you're really focused on trying to see problems before they arrive, which you can't do, you'll then fail at that, of course. But then you start to blame yourself. Oh, man, how come I didn't see this? How come I didn't anticipate that? How come I didn't plan for all these things that you can't plan for? But then you start to erode your confidence, your ability to make decisions, all of these different things, right? And so this is, it's great. <laughs> this, is, this is very fucking cool. Very cool. The unfortunate lane in Mountains County with jewelry on. Can it be the next team house the horn? Children, just for the real ones, like the lie up. I hate to have to tie the next guy up. Huh. This is great. This is great. Let's keep rolling. Really enjoying this album thus far. Track seven is called Guillotine Swords, featuring Inspector Deck. Is it is it Giza? I think it's Giza. I always I can never remember if it's Giza or Giza. It's probably I think it's Giza. Got a bunch of members of Woo on here. Produced by Rizzo. Let's drop in. Track seven, Guillotine. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate the skill of Shaolin, the special technique of shadow boxing. I love that these guys love these old kung fu movies. <laughs> nice, nice sound so far. I love that, that like violin sound. Poisonous paragraph, smash it on the graph in half. It'd be the inspector deck on the wall path. Even mites with a cast Cause a ruckus like the aftermath From guns blast Run fast Here comes the verbal assault Rhymes running wild Like a child in a water I score From the inner slums abroad And my thoughts are ready to start Besides the mic from the court First criticize But now they have become Mentally paralyzed With hits that I devise Now I testify The best desire Rebel I in that's your highness Blessed to electrify Revoke you to for ill Truth that I reveal Across the amateurs Who scream they keep it real The entrepreneur Pins and gear like Shakespeare when I fuck, I grab him, collect George and souvenirs. Fuck you, yeah, my cool down German bitch. My career is based on guns, throwing cats and wheelchairs, etc. Damn it, any lame ass competitor who try to run, get broken and fast like levers. Whatever, hard, hard heads get shattered like mirrors. Beretta shots splatter your goose, scatter your feathers. Say never put with teach some crumbs, deal with grafting. Blew my family overseas, a maxing. What the fuck is this whole thing about having the strength of 80 midgets or something? Gorillas injected with strength of 80 midgets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Dude, uh, Inspector Dex first was great. Great, great rhyming schemes going on. Poisonous paragraph, smash your phonograph in half. I love that. That's great. You know, the old school phonograph, like basically your record, right? But what a great way of saying my fucking... Rhymes are gonna break your record player. <laughs> Be the inspected deck on the warpath. 
first class leaving mics with a cast cause a ruckus like the aftermath when guns blast. One, I didn't understand this. So he, so he says, run fast. Here comes a verbal assault. The rhymes running wild like, oh, now I get it. Like a child in a walker. <laughs> For whatever reason, the first time I heard it, I thought he was talking about running fast. Rhymes running. I thought I just, I misheard it. Running wild like a child in a walker, like a kid that's all fucked up. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what that means. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty harsh right there. I scored from the inner slums abroad, and my thoughts are razor sharp. I slice the, the mic from the cord. First to criticize, but now they have become mentally paralyzed with hits that I devise. I like that. That's great, too. Now I testify. The best is I. Rebel INS, your highness, blessed to electrify with voltage of an eel. Truth that I reveal will crush the amateurs who scream they keep it real. Great fucking lines. Holy shit. Caesar Black down. Hooded up in fatigues. Part-time minor leagues received third degrees. Burns, right? That's going to be burns. Attack like a wolf pack once I pull back. The god you have busted like a full bag. Huh. <laughs> this gorilla's injected with the strength of 80 midges. Okay. <laughs> I don't fucking know. All right. Let's keep it. Let's fucking, this is cool, man. Again. Again, cool, cool sound. Unify laying in the yard with lock. My clan done ran from Japan to Atlanta with stand on my flingers and gamblers and grand handlers. That's cool right there. Like the house to go. Let's get sting. Infrared ball, your be so see up respect. Move boy, you bet. Keep the movement boss your law. Bro, black light talk. Designing the fly shit and stay shining. The reason for more beats than Christelle's fine wine. Yeah. Go to bed with 50 other niggas on the other side of the map. Do what's all good and all done. What? We want son, Mike Tyson of this rap shit, pulling out Max is fun. The nigga don't get mad, I got mad styles of my own, and it's shown when my hands grip the chrome microphone. Verbal I gotta, hold on. Till it's all good and all done, what we want son, Mike Tyson of this rap shit, pulling out Max for fun. That's gotta be a wordplay on Mike Tyson's punch out, right? Right? Like... I, so, I, you know, Mike Tyson, obviously a great boxer. So, you know, one of the best to ever do it, especially back in the 90s. So that, you know, championship boxer being championship rapper. Max, pulling out Max for like Max are kind of like, I think it's a style of gun, right? But also, Mac was the name of your trainer when you played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on Nintendo, which was, uh, that was not 95. It was before 95. I wonder. I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of caught that. We kind of need to see a fucking Mike Tyson's punch out reference in a rap song. <laughs> I catch bodies with cordless shotties. Intriguing them seeds, I keep them trained like potties. I bomb facts. My sword is an axe to split backs. Visible like dope thing tracks. Sky's the limit. Niggas are timid. And nobody knows how we move like wolves and sheep clothes. Producing data. Mike for chips of software. I'm the ground and off air. The land of the lost. Notorious henchmen from the north. Striking niggas with a Mason Dixon line cross. Cool song, man. I love that little like violin hum that they put in. It almost makes me think of a bee flying by, you know, buzzing around. So lyrically, in terms of the story, I don't think that... Uh, I don't, unless I'm missing something, but it, it feels like this, this whole track is basically, you know, them just rapping, right? Rapping and rhyming and doing the best at it and all this other shit. But it, this, the feel of this track, the sound of the production, the way each guy is kind of sneaking in and out of his verse, this song feels like, for the story, it feels like, okay, the previous track, he's going insane, somebody robbed his gate. You know, I'm going insane. I'm going to kill some motherfuckers. These rainy days, right? It feels like this is the hit squad. It feels like now they're out and it's at night and they're sneaking around and they're going to find that, that, that guy who robbed them and fucking take him out. This feels like, even though lyrically, I don't recall anything in here lyrically that's kind of specific to that theme in terms of the story. This just feels like the hit. Like they're, they're sneaking out and they're going to go get this person. And I could be completely wrong. I probably am wrong. But 
if that is the case, if that's the intention of this, well, not the intention of this, but if, if this is kind of the role it's playing in the story, it's incredible to me that they can kind of have that story element just in the feel of the song. Because it does. The way, it's kind of like a, a, a metaphor. Them just having their own verse and, and rapping really well and you know being the best at us. But the way it's presented with them kind of coming in and out and it's this quiet, darker song. It feels like sneaking. It feels like a gang of guys sneaking to, to strike. Let's move on to track eight, which is can it, all, can it be also simple remix? Okay, so I'll be familiar with this, but let's check this out. Maybe, uh, oh, first we're gonna give Guillotine Heart. Here we go, track eight, can it be also simple? I can never say that well. So, open your hand, man. What the fuck is that in your hand, man? What? Huh? What? Hey, yo, come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's shit. Come here. Yeah, it's my shit. shit. Get up. Watch. Yo, yo, grab that nigga. Grab that nigga. Come here. It's my shit. Move. 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 Get up. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yo, man. Yo, son of man. Hey. Hold that shit, son. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Nigga try to assassinate me, man. Yo. Everybody's talking about shit. So in terms of the previous track, maybe I was close, but maybe I had it backwards. Maybe they were trying to come get him. I don't. I don't really think that's what's happening. I think you know they approach this guy who's trying to sell on their corner, and you know gunshots, and then he gets hit. But they tried to assassinate me. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I was right, but maybe it was the other the other team that was sneaking around trying to set up and kill him. Anyway, let's drop in the song. <laughs> It's the remix, son. It's the remix. Can it be act like you know? Check it. Yo, check what happened out of state. I'm knocking off a half a cake. Oh, yeah. Flying at a fast rate. I smoked the black dust. Kept my hand clutch. I'm falling in lust. Small plus. I played my hand like a raw flush. Baggy jeans. Wallaby clocks. Pretty woman. I put it in them. Shot up in them. Deadly venom. I hung around the big town bosses. Illegal forces. Exchange thoughts. Showing love to all my sources. Space try to bag me like Cagney and Lacey. Chef had that bitch Stacy slipping in Macy's. I goes off, catch a flashback on how I got trapped and got licked like Patsy in a mall flick. I got hit, stumbling, holding my neck to the guard's rest. Open flesh, burgundy blood colored my guest. Emergency trauma, black teen headed for surgery. Can it be a out of state nigga try to murder me? I should have stayed in job corps and now I'm an outlaw. Break a tea to carry a faux faux nigga. Dedicated to the guards and the earth. Dedicated to babies who can't feed first. Dedicated to up north and down state. Dedicated to rich niggas who sell waste. I don't know. I don't know if I like this one as much. I love the original. I don't know if I'm really into the the remix sound that they've done here. Now I do like the story element of him talking about you know, check what happened out of state, knocking off half a cake. Oh, I wonder if the skit was them looking at like the other guy. I I, I think I had the point of view reversed. Those were the guys. Uh, anyway, I I think I understand it. I think I understand what I had mixed up here. You know, I, he's just talking about all this shit that he did. But then I like, you know, you get, you get uh, into the second half, you know, I got licked like Pepsi. I got hit. Somebody hold my neck to the God's rest. Open flesh, burgundy, blood colored. My gas emergency trauma. Black teen headed for surgery. Can it be an out-of-state person tried to murder me? But the chorus, I think I just, I love the chorus of the original so much. I, I kind of don't like that they're talking over it. Which is ironic because I talk over shit all the time. So I am uh, going to, from now on, be called Bob the Hypocrite <laughs> for criticizing people talking over the music while I <clears throat> talk over the music. What? It started off on the Allen. AK Shallon, niggas wailing. Old folks scream, stop the valance. The valance. Laying up, yo, watching these crack niggas. Playing up rap games for what? See? Back in the days, crime pays in mad ways. Sporting Tommy Hill with caves. 360 waves. And no searching for loose ends. Now flex 300 bins. Mad tens with mad diamonds. Now that's the life of the good life. Sometimes niggas act trite. I played the place throughout my hood life. Remember, I got blasted. Now that's in the basket. God forbid I lay in the casket. Hold up. Hold up. Peace to all my brothers that I ain't gonna see no more. Peace to brothers on the island. Up north. Yeah, there is still, even it, though it's a remix, it, there's still this darker, sinister level to it. There's no like, like happy memories in this sound. 
You know, it's like the sound, the happy memories are gone. I like the back half of the song. And, and to be clear, I enjoy that song. I just, I think, I enjoy the original version of Can It All Be So Simple or Can It Be All So Simple. I always say Can It All Be So. Anyway, I enjoy the original more, but that was cool. Uh, it's dark still, you know, and with the original, it being you know, kind of positive memories, reflecting back, simpler times, innocent times, you know, all that shit is gone, gone on this one. That is not present in this track, which is really kind of cool. I love this line. I, I paid the price throughout my hood life. Remember, I got blasted. Now that's in the past, kid. God forbid I lay in the casket. But now I'm all about G notes. No time for weed mixed with Coke. I wash my mouth out with soap. I got my act together. Low sweat isn't better. What a great way of saying I stopped swearing, right? Because what happens when you're a kid, you get caught swearing, your mom washes your mouth out with soap. So, you know, that's your punishment. So what a great way to say I stopped swearing. So he's basically talking about I'm cleaning up, going straight. So I'm kind of taking this part of the story is he gets, he's trying to sell. He gets jumped by those guys. They, you know, they try and kill him. He thinks, oh shit, they tried to assassinate him. He gets hit. He has to go to the hospital, surgery. Now he's thinking, oh, fuck, you know, I'm not, I don't want to lay in a casket. I don't want to lay in the casket. I started off on the island. People wild and old folks screaming, stop the violence too. Laying up, you're watching these crap. Playing of craps for what? Back in the day, crime pays in mad ways, yeah. Okay. All right, let's move on to track nine, which is called Shark. We'll just say Shark Individuals, Biters. And biter is somebody who steals, from what I understand, like steals your flow or rhyming style or whatever. But I wonder if this is just, if it's that or if it's something else. And then, anyway, let's drop in track nine. This is, it's a, a minute and a half. It might just be a skit anyway. White mad styles and shit for niggas, man. Yeah. So I be hating, yeah. man. I can't stand a fucking biting ass nigga when you use your lines all ahead of time before you even get a chance to shine on your own shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas be killing me though, son, because you know, they be, they be coming with your words and shit. They hear you say one word, but here they come with the word, trying to flip it and bounce it and shit on some yeah. bullshit. I don't want niggas sound like me on no album. You know what I'm saying? For real, because I'm going to approach a nigga, man. For real, man. I don't want nobody to sound like me, man. For real, son. No, no bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody for my clan, man. Keep it real. Get your own shit, man. And be original. No That's good. all, man. And, and you're going you to come out your own way. Whatever yeah. how you're no going to take it, man. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. You have to be your own. You have to. I, what's, it, I, as I was listening to this, I was just thinking about YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> And how, how much I hate them because they're all exactly the same, right? They're all the same. I get emails and messages every now and then from people trying to be helpful, trying to be nice. And, hey, you know, Bob, I'm going to help you, you know, make your, make your thumbnails a little better. And I'm not, I am not putting those people down or, or talking shit on them. I, it's all good intentions, all very kind requests. But my whole thing is, is I don't want thumbnails. I hate that all these thumbnails look the same. Like YouTube, I feel like YouTube now is just fucking awful awful i i watched i played diablo 4 i watched diablo 4 and like i don't i uh, my feed is just the same bullshit all the time all the th thumbnails look the same all the channels <laughs> seem the same i just like god damn it and so not that necessarily people are you know biting each other into uh, like in the youtube world but there is always this idea of I am trying to make it i'm trying to be successful but what so how do i do that well i got to do what they're doing and so, you know, copying each other's style and how to do things has been around forever, just forever. And it is very annoying. Not to say that anybody's trying to copy me or anything like that, but 
it's just it is funny to me that while he's complaining about people stealing his rapping style now almost 30 years later it translates so well into fucking YouTube content and how it seems like every fucking channel is almost exactly the same. Fortunately, there is at least a layer of personality, but like how many channels have the, you know, the intro and you gotta, you know, you gotta, it's got the little animation for the like and the subscribe. <laughs> it's like, it's all just the same. Anyway, let's stop talking about that. Who cares? That's just boring. Let's move on to track 10, which is called Ice Water. Produced by RZA. I think the whole thing... Featuring Capadonna. I don't know who that is. I think this whole thing's produced by RZA. Anyway, track 10, Ice Water. Tommy Hill rockin' ice niggas. Tommy Hill ice rockin' niggas. Oh, interesting sample cut. Very interesting. I don't know the sample, but... The way he's chopped it and looped it is interesting. Take one on one to this shit, y'all. Yeah. Trippy beat, man. The sample cut is very odd. I don't know how I feel about that one. It's The sample cut is kind of... It's, it's like this combination of mesmerizing and disorienting. And I, I kind of feel like that's the point. Because these lyrics that are going through here, it kind of has that feel feeling of being a little little bit of disorientation let's talk about let's talk about some lyrics let's talk about some. first if we're talking about a lot of jewelry here a lot of jewelry it's got his fucking 2o point two o point three diamond cut engraved rubies kid i laced it so my sweet tooth got a <laughs> a person throbbing ready for robin but first hit maria's for a butter almond Move like a bunch of Mexicans with bandanas. Sun, it's on so we can just max a million. I got the spot sewn so we can make a billion. Hmm. Peace to the Paris crew in the avenue. And my buddy Jay Love, who carries switchblades on the reg. Dude. I did like this line. Fine line between Donna, dumb, deaf, and blind. Ah. <laughs> uh. Crossed over grain while he was bubbling moonshine, sipping on Monet or Moe. I feel like uh, there's something I'm missing here. They're telling a story, but I'm not. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. He ain't mine. He shook like uh, in the daytime. Crossed over grain while he was bubbling moonshine, sipping on Moe. Laid up Ray Gambino, mastermind the plan. Tony Stark's cappuccino. Develop while your head be swallowed up off the nation. Blinded by the ice while I release the confrontation. That right there tells me something's happening in terms of a, a little bit of a story. 
Donna Holy, fat bags of weed, raviola pasta, bodyguard, the killer bees, songs like Kevin Costner. <laughs> so Kevin Costner, the movie The Bodyguard, with, uh, I can't remember her name right now. I know her name. It's, I'm just blanking on it. Whitney Houston. There we go. Bodyguard, the killer bees, songs like Kevin Costner. I kind of like that just because the the previous little skit, you know, people stealing their words and stealing their lines, and also they're guarding their songs. That's kind of a cool little play on words there. Quarters, nickels, and dimes, bitch. Such for overtime. Any ass money suit me fine because I'm coming strong, breaking people's backs, keep shit real. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> bitch, yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you one more time. Tony Stark's Rick Wong, the chef, cappuccino, gold is coming through mad strong from the Isle of Shaolin. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. That, I'm, okay, I'm okay with that song. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Track... 11 is called Glaciers of Ice, produced by Brizza. Ghostface, 60 Second Assassin. That name is new to me. All right, let's jump into Glaciers of Ice, track 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, son, you got to take me to look at the vlogs, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, check it out. Yo, yo, I got a new, yo, niggas don't even know, son. Yo, <laughs> join. Yo, I got a crazy idea how to do clocks now. Shit like that, niggas don't even know some word is born. I'm a rock niggas this summer. <laughs> On the real. You know what I'm saying? Yo, son. I had crazy vision. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Boom. Do that, do that color like. But you gotta trip it like a ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, stand on the block, we block, gun cock, avalanche rock, get paid off, mass murder his services, chef, break them, box the alley cats, bake them, four nine made them, drop grenades and take them, quick, fast, we reflect like the sky, be blue, so who takes side of the grab my Again, he's using that violin kind of sound there. Here's the plan, see, sit back, collect it, text it, checks it, flow it slow, and the martyr, go flex it, beats break heavenly, word the INS, bless me, throw me like three bags of sets, for real. I like, is that like guitar? Syndrome was caused by the deadly drums, but the battle was won by swords being swung. Slice it with a vocal from the international vocalist. Your style is too local to fuck with this. No assistance, moving motionless, mysterious swiftness. Thoughts roll down the shaft of the brain. Mental gives the signal to the physical. Whirlwind kicks and hits from every angle. I'm kind of surprised he's using that violin sound again, since it's very, very similar to guillotine, maybe? I can't remember which track that was on. Some good fucking... I'm also... I'm going to disappoint everybody right now because I just now remembered what the sword was. It's the tongue, right? Liquid swords. It's the tongue, the lyrical sword. I totally forgot about that. So... Proceed with caution as you enter the symphony. Decrees, degrees of punishment increase intensely. Syndrome was caused by the deadly drums, but the battle was won by swords being slung, slicing, slicing with a vocal from the international vocalist. Your style is too local to fuck with this. Great. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> and I, as when I remembered, all oh, right, the sword is the fucking uh, the tongue. Anyway. Anyway. I... Every now and then I, I wish people could realize how much stuff I forget so they could just be so disappointed in me. <laughs> uh, I forget a lot. Uh, yeah, if people knew, if people knew how, you know, I only kind of give off, I suppose, the illusion of having my shit together and being organized because I can manage to do a video every Friday and Wednesday I do the thing, right? So it just seems like, oh, I'm in a good rhythm. I got to No. No, it's all sticks to the wind, man. <laughs> Let's keep rolling with this one. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm liking it, but I feel like he's using the same sound again. It's like, oh, it's almost like cheating. And then, you know, after kind of doing a remix too, I, I don't know. Let's keep going. I'm enjoying it, but part of me wants to go, no, you need to, every song needs to be new and fresh, you know? The treasure is the glaciers of ice. Hmm. The treasure is the glaciers of ice. Original man possessed the power to hold G's guns and grams. Baker Baker pull off a keystone caper. Point out the baddest bitch in the crowd and watch me scrape her. All right, let's keep going. Let's, let's keep going here.
I, I, it sounds like guitar. It's a little bit of a guitar. I like that. The vocals are going nuts. That I like, as it just kind of came in right there. <laughs> the vocals here are insane. People have mentioned this before. My seeds grow with his seeds, marry his seeds. That's how we keep Wu Tang money all up in the family. Let's click the annotation. These lines portray Wu Clan as a real organized crime institution they work in a similar manner. The daughter of Sammy Gravano told once in an interview entitled, I was the daughter of the mafia boss. Ghostface says his children will grow up to be Wu-Tang children. Okay, sure. Pretty straightforward. For some reason, I remember people talking about this, and I can't remember why. Shocking, right? After I just said I forget things all the time. Cool track. Again, they're keeping that sinister sound. There's just this tone. It's kind of darker. Cool change up there. I guess he's fucking with the sample, huh? That's gotta be a sample that he's using. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I like Grace's advice. Initially, initially I felt like maybe he was maybe he was just using the, the the violin sound a little too often or something. But I liked it, and I'm I'm kind of remember. You know, there's still a lot of music left, but I was remembering in in the first half of the album, enjoying how patient the album is, and I think part of me is becoming a little impatient, not because of the length of the album or the songs or anything, but because some of these story elements, it feels like feels like we've been building this tension and I'm kind of waiting for something to pop off a bit and that hasn't happened yet. I'm a little, I don't want to say surprised, but I think that's where my mind is going a little and the, the album is staying on this course and so I gotta come back to where the album is. This final portion, it's been a long time. My people are walking around here deaf, dumb, and blind. It's been a long time since the father left in 69. It's been a long time since Wu-Tang had the chance to shine. It's been a long time since we had diamonds, gold, and drank crystal wine. It's been a long time. My people walking around here deaf, dumb, and blind. Or dumb, deaf, and blind. And I feel like this. there is a story element here in the sense of maybe this is adding to the insanity that this person is having with uh, that started back in rainy days. You know, he's going insane. He's getting sucked in. And there's just this kind of like slow boiling rage, you know, looking around at where he is, all the people around him and what they're doing. Because there have been little, little jabs here and there about basically people who are fucking up with their life, you know, doing stupid shit. Yeah, I can't uh, reference those right now and, and prove my point. You'll just have to believe me. <laughs> I do like this. I'm on tour. Chill. Catch me 96 in June. But until then, my 10 men and team be safe. Chill on the whips for seven months. We can all get laced. Take a boat cruise, sip daiquiris, max swimming pools, fly jewels. I like the idea of taking a boat cruise and sipping daiquiris. That's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that that spread the woundness rule this civilization's cursed but luckily i'm born to be wild and then be out move crowds collect twenty thou, and then be out so there's a little reference right there spread the it's it's kind of his their own his own version of kind of spreading the message a little bit because civilization is cursed hmm. good shit man this is a cool fucking album thus far. All right, let's move on to track 12, which is called Verbal Intercourse featuring Nas. All right. Nas.
Nas and Ghostface Killer. Track 12, Verbal Intercourse. No chicks, no chicks, baby. Yeah. No chicks, no hey, chicks, yo, check it out, y'all. Through the lights, cameras in action, glamour, glitters and gold. I unfold the scroll, plant seeds to stampede the globe when I'm deceased. By the cool fucking sample you. Leaving savages to roam in the streets, live on the run. Police paying me to give him my gun. Trick my wisdom with the system that imprisoned my son. Smoke a gold leaf, I hold heat. Nonchalantly, I'm grungy, but things I do is real and never haunts me. Wow, funny style niggas rolling up. Booster heads profile on a bus to write cause they're holding weed inside they pussy with their minds on the pretty things in life. Props is a true thug's wife, it's like a cycle. Niggas come home, some will go in, do a bullet, come back, do the same shit again. From the womb to the tomb, presume the unpredictable. Guns salute life rapidly, that's the ritual. Perhaps, huh. bullets, bus, niggas discuss mad money, true lies, and white guys. We can see you through the eyes. I like the beat a lot. I don't like this vocal sample that's sliding around. I don't know what it's saying, and it's kind of distracting to me. I feel like, well, I wonder if the if the track would sound better without it. It sounded a little empty. I have to sneeze now. Perfect timing. But as it as it, I don't know. It, it's I'm trying to catch what's being said, and I can't really make it out. And so because of that, I keep trying to hear what's being said. So it's a distraction to me. Hmm. Nas Nas's verse was really kind of interesting. Through the lights, cameras, and action, glimmers, glamour, glitters, and gold that unfold the scroll. Plant seeds to stampede the globe. Cool line right there, right? Like, here's my plan to run around the world. When I'm deceased, by then the beasts arise like yeast to conquer peace, leaving savages to roam in the streets. Live on the run, police paying me to give in my gun. Trick my wisdom with the system that imprisoned my son. Let's click this one. Nas accuses law enforcement of trying to cloud his wife's judgment by offering money exchange of firearms. Yeah, I understand that. What's his son, though? Hmm. Well, whatever. Long ass. Some of these annotations are long. I'm raunchy, but things I do is real. It never haunts me. While well, funny style people roll in the pile, rooster heads profile on the bus to Riker's Isle. Holding weed inside their pussy with their minds on the pretty things in life. Props is a true thug's life. Inmates who get contraband usually get it by having a citizen outside. Sure. Sure. Well, whatever. Okay. Let's keep rolling. May bail huh. different size kicks on a white dress shirt, looking gay in the yard, and you got her with flashbacks for the day room. Mop ring a style. Your faggot ass got bashed, trying to turn it down. You told your boo you was wildin'. Once you heard woo, added a blue, your family's from Shaolin. High class cooks come on the best ass bumpers. Infirmary niggas are screaming, I got shoes. Sharpin' two brushes, 190 mix with baby oil and shit. Your man's in the kitchen stashing ice picks. While I'ma end this with a big red cherry on top. Me nines and rake. Got the best product on the block. My whole team is eating off of this good shit. Good shit, nigga. Huh. Say whatever y'all want. Keep your eyes open and wild in your fly pocket. Chris, a ghost. Chef and nines, niggas in the profit. That that vocal sample is very distracting to me. Trippy track. I think that song is a great example of me having no fucking idea what's going on, right? He's talking to somebody. <laughs> he's talking to somebody. Maybe he's talking to everybody. But it sounds pretty specific. This part, don't keep Jack in my lap. Don't want to see Tupac. Don't want to get killed. Is that what we're talking about? At the time of the song, Tupac was in New York State Jail for Sexual Assault. Okay. Okay, so he's not dead yet. Don't keep Jack in my lab. Don't want to see too... Okay, so he doesn't want to be in jail. Sure, that makes sense. Got two spots. By the way, young blood, hit me off with that Green Bay hat. That's very specific. I have no idea. Watch your back inside the hall. New people slide through like doors. Yo, you're staring in the mess hall. Your adrenaline runs. Cigarette people be swindling. New Jack surrendering. Come home not remembering. Made bail with different size kicks on, a white dress shirt, looking gay in the yard, and you got hurt. Huh. Huh. You got bashed trying to turn the dial. You told your boo you was wild once you heard woo. Out of the blue, your family's from Shaolin. <laughs> High class cooks. Throw on vests 
out of phone books. What the fuck does that mean? High-class criminals such as drug lords and other boss figures in street crime use phone books as protection while incarcerated to defend against the shank. Oh, okay. They do this because they may have angered other prisoners for reasons such as foul financial dealings, envy, revenge for a lost loved one, status, etc. <laughs> okay, fucking Wikipedia. What? Rap Wikipedia. Okay, sure. Your man's in the kitchen stashing ice picks. Well, I'm going to end this with a big red cherry on top. Minas Ray got the best product on the block. Huh. And I feel like that's them just talking about me, rapping again. Cool track. Don't like that vocal sample. I don't like the vocal sample. I love the beat. It will, it'll be interesting to see if that one grows on me. But I don't, I don't like the vocal sample flying around. It gets really distracting to me. Track 13 is called Wisdom Body. Uh, produced by RZA. Uh, let's jump in. Here we go. Track 13. No, man, all bitches are the same, just like my hoes, you know. I keep them broke. Wake up one morning with some money that's subject to go crazy, you know. I keep them looking good, pretty, and all that, you know, but no dough. When I get a bitch, I got a bitch. Right on. Word up. <laughs> got motherfucking brother wise. You know what I'm saying? Teaching the uncivilized. Cool. Yeah, running the streets, know it's deep. Word up, check his technique, yeah. I beat Ghostface, flipping up the marvelous cool. track, yeah. You know the steelo. I love kind of a slowed down yo, tempo yo, here. The banging the sounds that I invent. Fake niggas, nice hesitation the there. Came and went. They couldn't match up with the fly nigga with his back against the wall. Heads clock once I came in the door. I played the speaker, sipping a Kahlua. Saw this bad bitch with a switch. And yo, I had. Step to it in a manner and rather wish the current was warm. When I had reached her, I looked and knew the shit was on. <laughs> Please excuse me, allow to introduce myself. You want the man, and honey, you've been made it top stuff. You wish the name one, head wrapped up in a bun. Your eyes sparkle just like glass in the sun. Never diss him. It's hard for a nigga just to miss him, especially when you're browsing, going fishing. Your waistline banging like a baseline. Waistline banging like a baseline. And yo, I love your outline, boo. Your whole body is wow. With your rugged profile, enough to make a hard rock smile. Yeah, yeah. And all types of shit. And brothers catching repercussions, yo. Straight up. That's a great track. I love how it's just, it's just straightforward. He's just trying to hit on this girl. You know, that's it. <laughs> uh, where's some of the stuff let's see here saw this bad bitch with a switch and yo I had to step to her in a manner and rather wish, wished the current was warm I wonder what that means maybe she was giving him the cold shoulder so that's what he's saying there he wished the current was warm I don't know when I reached her I looked I knew the shit was on so I'm assuming maybe she's definitely like, you know, hard to get type of a thing. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the man, and honey, you've been rated top shelf. <laughs> that's great. Uh, that's great. Oh, man. And I love that he's using the word boo. I love your outline, boo. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. I enjoy that song. I'm going to enjoy listening to that one again in the future. I like the lyrics. It's just fun to listen to. Let's move on, though. I don't want to waste time because uh, pretty straightforward track 14 it's called spot rushers produced by rizza uh the next one is a big one ice cream but let's drop into track 14 spot rushers you know actually before uh, before we get roll on this one i've kind of lost sight of the story if there is a story in this album but not so much because they're not presented but it's been hard to follow this this trail that they're leaving in terms of the story, but I wonder, Wisdom Body, I wonder if it's a reference, I mean, if, if it's a story element, if he's like met this new girl, I wonder if it's going to play out at all. So I, I'm just saying that to put that in my mind, to put that in your mind, that's what I'm thinking of right now, where we're at in the album. You come and look at Flavor Food, right. you know what I mean? You the whole, you the whole shit of the whole right. night. But I've seen it though, you know what I'm saying? Like Zena, you know? It's like, yo, Lazy Live. It's the wind, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's yeah, the wind. Bro, it's the air, I can feel, I feel it. hot. It feel, yeah. feel hot at night and shit. Like, sunny uh, to the 
I'm still waiting for something, the sinisterness to kind of land, but maybe it's maybe it's just not gonna happen. Yo, it be a line for line, line for line. This is how we get down. Line for line, line for line. This is how we get down. Yo, can you feel me? Storytelling, rap, Magellan. I ain't telling. Them niggas ran in the spot for selling. Word up, pushed up, man got mushed up. Seen them at a rap show, acting like bad cat though. Yeah. Shining like a real big boy. This nigga had mega ice on chips. So Again, not a clean fucking beat, man. Brown kid, all out the window. My man walked in, pulling mitts out. Son had bad clients up. Order me Chris Dell twice, Keon. Chill, watch them niggas. Hey, yo, that clicks on my estate. They bubble away and fall rock away with Blake Carrington. You know the kid with the most dope getters and zeros on fashion. Click, they rock low sweated. Where's Sky Blue land at? Stop playing woo in the back. Smack them with the gas. Yo, <laughs> Line, wait for the millennia green to pull up. He got the Donna Karen shit on two rings, six carats a piece plus the chain swing. Like anchors on ships flooded with all diamond chips, back pockets, two clips, four fifths with rubber grips. Laying two bottles of brass, I was slaying, meditating. Red dot be waiting for my payment. Heard the key in the lock, cock the block, turn the lights out, dip behind the couch, key on, gag his mouth. Infrared at his head when he entered. Yo, where's the cash in the stash that's mixed? I don't know. Shot his hand, he started screaming like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so again I've I've lost I've lost the plot. I've lost the storyline. But uh before the record by the way, you know, this line this last line shot his hand, he started screaming like a bitch. I think I would probably also scream like a bitch if I got shot in the hand, especially like right in the middle. That would hurt. Or I don't know what would be worse, getting shot in the hand, the middle part or like getting your finger blown off. <sighs> hmm. I don't know, but I would scream. I would scream like a bitch. I would. I would. It's true. It's true. Put that on my tombstone. Got shot in the hand and screamed like a bitch. <laughs> Not a lot to tear into. I mean, pretty straightforward in terms of, of the lyrics. Like the beat again. You know, this, this whole album, top to bottom, has done a great job of maintaining the aesthetic, the feel, the flow, the tone. Everything. It's just very, very in its lane. And I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. It makes for, this is what for me makes for great, great albums because every now and then you want to put on that thing. You've got this musical itch that you need to scratch. And, you know, all musical itches, just like reels, are, you know, they're all the in different spots. This album scratches that itch, its corresponding itch. When you want to, Listen to something like this. You can put on this album and you're getting it from top to bottom. So that's fucking amazing. And that's that's the kind of music that makes you come back over and over again, you know? And you listen to an album for fucking decades because it's just that sound and it does it so well. And Only Built for Cuban Links has absolutely fucking done that. Um I'm not going to I'm not going to tear into the lyrics too much, I suppose. I don't really understand this. She couldn't pull it off, man. She couldn't pull it. Off. She couldn't pull it off because the drawers, the drawers. And then you get in. You know, this guy's waiting in the house. He's waiting for somebody to show up with his money. And he gets to the end. A friend of Keon's wife, Kenya, the bitch larger than life. Yo, sure to be fucking mad at Colombian people. Fuck it. Get on the floor. Meet the black like loser. Strip fast. The bitch had, had on Claiborne drawers. Clothing. Yeah, I know who Claiborne is. Okay. I'm about to scrape or chill. Scrape. Have sex. Sure. Goes considers a little extracurricular activity. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, there's, uh, there's something I'm missing. And that's fine. That's okay. But basically, he they rob her? Where's the cash and the stash that's mixed? I don't know. Shot his hands. So like, they rob them? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well, whatever, you know, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Let's move on to track 15, which is called Ice Cranes featuring Ghostface Killer Method Man and Capadonna produced by RZA. Looks like this is the big one from the album. Here we go. Ice Cream. The Ice Cream Man is coming. These rap niggas get all up in your guts. Prince Vanilla, Butter, Pecan, Chocolate Deluxe. 
Even caramel sundaes is getting touched and scooped in my ice cream truck. Who says it up? Yo, honey, dip summertime, fine jury dripping. Seen you were pickings with a bunch of chickens, how you clicking? I kept shooting strong notes as we got close. She rock rope, honey throat smelling like impost. Your whole shell, baby's wicked like Nimrod. Caught me like a freshwater scrub, or may I not be God? Attitude is very rude, boo. Crabby like seafood. It turns me on like vines to your law room. They call me Starky Love Hunt. Check the strategy by any means. Surely Temple Cross was done by Billy Jeans. Black Mrs. America, your name is Erica, right? True. Lazy Yabu, small feet, six shoe. Carmel complex and breath smelling like cinnamon. Excuse me, hunter, don't mean no harm. Turn around again. Goddamn, backyard's banging like a Benzie. If I was Jiggy, you'd be spotted like Spot McKenzie. Oh, my I'm God. Put a Dean and Howard to sleep your part in. That bitch been on my mind all week. Oh, I'm wondering, are these ice cream flavors supposed to be like a metaphor for skin color? I don't know. I, don't, I really have no idea. No idea. This fucking verse is kind of funny, though. <laughs> Where was it? Where tell, excuse me, Don. The Don mean no harm. Turn around again. God damn. Backyard's banging like a Benzie. <laughs> if I was Jiggy, you'd be spotted like Spuds McKenzie. I haven't heard that name in a long time. I think that was the dog for... Bud Light or Budweiser, Spud, Spuds McKenzie. Yep, Bud Light. Oh, yeah. God damn. Every now and then. Especially go back to these albums from the 90s. Some memories, man. Some memories pop up. Now, we're talking, to the, we're seeing this girl. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm just going to give up on trying to piece together this story. I'm not going to worry too much about it because I think I've just, I'm, I'm too far off the trail to understand what's going on. I like, I like Ghostface on this verse, though. He's doing a great job. Your whole shell baby's wicked like Nimrod. What was this reference? The son of Crush, great-grandson of Noah and the king of Shinar. In the book of Genesis, he's depicted as a mighty hunter and a rebel toward God. This mythology plays into Nimrod, a character from the X-Men series, who had a psychic awareness and a suit of body armor, matching the emotional ferocity of the girl, which she wear like a shell. Okay. Okay, so you could just also, okay, I was going to rant about the annotation, but whatever, who cares. I kept shooting strong notes as we got close. She rocked rope, honey throat, smelly like impulse, whole shell baby is wicked like Nimrod. So her whole body, okay. Attitude is very rude, boo. Crabby like seafood. <laughs> Nobody likes a crabby boo. Nobody likes a crabby boo. No, that's the worst. That's the worst. That's the worst. Let's keep rolling. Black chocolate girl wonder shake ground like thunder. Politic to your deficit step. Give me your number. Your sexy persuasive tatas and thighs. Catch my eyes like flies. I want to buy me surprise. Double down some time. Ice cream, you got me falling out like a cripple. I love you like I love my dick size. Ooh, baby, I miss <laughs> you. Jesus. Your sweet tender touches. Take clothes off the touches. Orgasm in my mind. Stay masturbating your clutches. I want you for self like wealth. So play me closely. Bitches paranoia for this thing. Who want the most of me? Only a hard dozen want to be called. Me cousin, thirsty for my catalog, baby shopping free of loving. Call me if you want to get dug like the pockets. I just am like a giant break wounds out of the sockets. God damn, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, man. So, it's a cool song. I like the beat. I'm not really into it. Um, for me, so this will be, uh, this will just fucking probably outrage everybody. But like, there's there's been some fun debate lately for me and the channel and you know discussing lyrics that are cheesy and verses that are cheesy or corny or whatever and i it's fun to watch especially in discord it's kind of fun to watch people go around and 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 uh kind of say what they think is cheesy and corny and see people get outraged by it and then you know somebody else says well this is cheesy well that's there's always like these different you know groups right and 
I did a, a live stream where I was reacting to singles, and one of the singles was a, a song from Tech Nine, and I'd never heard Tech Nine before, and I enjoyed it. Like I ain't, I think it's like I ain't was the track. I enjoyed it, and people were like kind of losing their shit over it. Like, no, Tech Nine sucks. He's corny. He's cheesy. Some people were saying he's fucking like he sounds racist. Like I won't get into it, but like a lot of people were saying he's corny, he's cheesy, whatever. Okay, fine. For me. This is kind of corny and cheesy. And, you know, given by the numbers of listens on this, like this is by far the biggest song off of the album. Like, I don't have a problem with this. But at the same time, I feel like it's kind of just dumb. Like, you're, you're talking about having sex with all these girls. You're, you're calling them ice cream flavors. You're talking about sucking on their titties. I was like, okay, like, to, this does nothing for me. This doesn't really do anything for me. So for me, this is cheesy, corny. And... You know, not that I'm trying to, like, take it seriously. It's just a fucking song. It doesn't matter. But I'm sure there will be plenty of people. What? You can't call that corny. You can't call that cheesy. <laughs> but that's why I say it, not to, like, piss people off. It is fun to piss people off sometimes. But more so because I find it fascinating where where people draw the line on corny, cheesy versus cool and badass and all this other stuff. And one thing I like to do is I like to, if I can't figure out how I feel about it, I like to throw some of my own bias in there and be like, okay, what if this was a different artist? You know, what if this was, you know, JPEG Mafia saying this? If JPEG Mafia was doing this, I'd probably like it more because I like JPEG Mafia. Not that I dislike Wu-Tang, but if it were Drake doing this, I'd be like, oh my God, this is so dumb. You know, it's, it's really interesting how you can take the lyrics and if you remove them from the artist and put them somewhere else, from what, from what I can tell, people's opinion kind of change. They change. We all have you know our biases of who we enjoy and who we think sucks and who's mid and what you know who's the fucking who's got the crown, all that shit, right? <laughs> anyway, that'll be fun. This will be fun to see how people react to this and tell me how wrong I am for thinking this is kind of a cheesy song because it's kind of a fucking cheesy song, you know. Talk about the fucking wigs tight, nails are done, you know, it's like, Jesus, I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Whatever. Let's move on. Uh, track, what are we on? Track 15? The Woo Gambinos? Yeah. 16. Track 16, Woo Gambinos, Feastering, Master Killer, Rizzo, Method Man, and Ghostface. All right, track 16, Woo Gambinos. And in our line yeah. of work, we need all the help so we can get. Up, Tony Wing's the name. Yeah, Works for a drug ring in Central America. Shit. Who wants to kill him? No information. You say yes or no. 1.5 million. Uh oh. We gotta try and all right. kill him. Get what you Put want. that a hit. No logic. Bobby Steals. What the fuck, man? Yo, Me, this is kind of cool. Again, this is just the patience. Mm. The aesthetic of the album, noodles, keeping that okay. that that theme going. Raleigh noodles, no doubt coming through. La Costa Nostra, Johnny Blaze, Lou Diamond. Hey, you just roll into the beat, man. Original blood clot, black boy. Who come to get you none? They want guns. I be the first to set off shit, laugh to run. Who roll together as one? I call my brother son cause he shine like one. Check it. Scriptures hit the body. Nice fucking beat. Shoddy. Like my hair naughty and my nose piece snotty. Fuck a nigga hottie. That whole pussy probably. Burn like the dentist of Mugabe for red. Ain't nothing fraudulent <laughs> here. We pioneer. Commandeer a new frontier. This be the root. Yeah. 36 chambers of fear. Huh. You lost it. Information leaking out your forces. Hmm. Time to forfeit your crown and leave the ground. There's a new sheriff in town holding it down. It's the two hosta. Shit shot smoker. I want a dead or alive. Bounty on the poster. Wild in the west. A student of my culture and life is the test. Hold up. Let a nigga catch his breath. I'm still I like that. Hold up. Takes a breath. Let him catch his breath. With that shit you stressing. This rap profession. Now beat the cap. The son of the shout. So just, you know, talking about the last track, I'd much rather listen to this track than Ice Cream. To me, this is much more enjoyable. I like the beat a little bit more. And I, I just prefer the fact that they're just kind of back their fucking rhyming scheme and just good, good old fashioned fucking rap, you know? Not that they weren't wrapping in ice cream, but anyway, I, I don't know. You guys understand. I'm, I'm enjoying this one more than ice cream. And I only, I only point that out because every now and then I'll do an album reaction and it's like, 
a song like Ice Cream will have almost 63 million listens. So that's obviously the, the, the popular one. Uh, I won't really be into it. And then the next one has, this one's three and a half million. I like it more. You know, and it's just, it's always fascinating to me how everyone's tastes are different and what they enjoy is different. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I was going to read lyrics, but I think I want to just keep going, I guess. Yeah, let's keep going. And then we'll review lyrics because I, I feel badly that I've kind of lost the story, but it is like hidden pretty well as well. I feel like. Anyway, let's, let's keep going. There's a model you're resembling the niggas who like following. Trapped inside your product like a genius out the bottle and God stepping forth. Nice. Upon holy down of the track. It's the sound that surrounds and hurts me like I'm under attack. So I decided to bite down on the mic. So the pain of the track will deny the fact that I'm the master for what lurks. Is an expert that hurts the individual who tried the visual lies under. Nice fucking cross of the bar line there. My hate is unbearable. My wisdom fucks up your respiratory systems of fraction. My kill attack like style is ragged and thoughts are mad jagged into the entity. My vicinity is 360 degrees of humidity. Represent the school of hard knocks and glocks. My clan is hot and got mad mice for blocks. So feel the force of impact from the eye inside of the gat as I attack the track from the blind side of the pack. Stalks past the chrome. Watch a nigga get blown. Fuck yeah, dude. That's a great verse. Great fucking verse. Remember them kids that came off with eight million? Rock the brink in our label, then will you put millions? The flower heads must have been stupid. Tell me how to fuck black niggas get caught with all that loot kids. Huh. Jet money, underground money, submarines and rings. Too bad you fucked up, dummies. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Great beat too, man. Great fucking beat. It's, it's, it's been honestly a little tough to react to this album in the sense that I'm, I just enjoy, I'm enjoying listening to it so much. I forget I'm supposed to say, oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> some, some cool shit in this final verse here. Uh, Goodfellas, we know bestsellers become novels, right? Like the movie, sure. The men rocking headband, headband, silk scarves, and jams. Early 80s British walkers, playboys, mocks, and shams. The laser beam vocalist does well at symphonies. Bad days. Watch me snatch ice right out of Tiffany's. <laughs> Remember them kids that came off with 8 million. There's an annotation here. 92 robbery. 8.5 million. We're still okay. Rob the Brinks and I labeled in royal pavilions. Them flower heads must have been stupid. Tell me how the fuck. Black people get caught with all that loot, kid. There's jet money, underground money, submarines and rings. Too bad you fucked up, dummies. Huh. Interesting. This verse by uh, Master Killer was great. God stepping forth upon holy ground of the track. It's a sound that surrounds and hurts me like I'm under attack. So I did, what's, what's this first annotation? God has reference. God has reference to the nation of gods and earths of which many of the Wu-Tang members are. They believe that Allah is the everyday ordinary person. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Okay. I decided to bite down on the mic so the pain of the track won't deny the fact that I'm the master for what lurks is an expert that hurts. The individual who tries to visualize under because I strike like thunder. People could stand my heat. It's unbearable. My wisdom fucks up your respiratory systems are fractured. So he was crossing the bar line a couple times in this verse. It's great. By the killer tactic, style is ragged and thoughts are mad jagged. Enter the entity. My vicinity is 360 degrees of humidity. Represents a school of hard knocks and glocks. My clan is hostile. Got mad moss for blocks. So feel the force of impact from the iron side of the gat as I attack the track from the blind side of the pack. Starks past the chrome. Watch a person get blown out. This motherfucking dome piece to seasonally direct. I like that verse quite a bit. That's good. That was good. Cool track. I like that one. I like that one. We are approaching the end. We've got two more here. Heaven and Hell. Uh, featuring Blue Raspberry, which was the female vocalist, I believe, on Rainy Days. Yep. Rainy Days. Okay. She did a good job. I like what she did. Great. Go Face Killers, produced by RZA. Track 17, Heaven and Hell. 
Yo, what, what, yo. Side type shit. Cool. Cool. Just hit that high note. Check it up. Yo, waking up about 10 kid, jumping in the shower piece about the make moves to slide like grease. What I'm all about, text and checks with no respect. Your front, I'm slamming your life the legs. So now I'm out in the 95, rocking that real nigga. Don't die, guess down. Draws can not, but yo won't make it. Going by your box of glock, see, roll up, make your quit up. Yo, remember that kid that we vicked? He made a half a meal for real. He brought about four bricks. Yeah, so now we connect doors. Meet me at the airport. Tell Golden Arms maintain a fort. Get cool, I like how it shifted over. Coast pause, just roll on. And meet me at the bitch slab. So word up, kid. We slid like a fat fool to 12 bit and shit. Couldn't even rest. I need the Vic. You know what's great about this? It's, we're, we're almost done. I've been listening to this for over two hours now. Holy shit, I didn't realize it's been that long. And that's actually kind of my point. I've not gotten bored. And pretty consistently, this album has been kind of a, a slower tempo throughout. Darker, slower, more sinister, pretty consistent in sound. And to do this, and for me to not get bored, is pretty fucking impressive in my mind. Pretty fucking impressive. It's cool, cool fucking album, man. I, I am kind of ready for it to be done. Mostly, I got to go pee. <laughs> so that is uh, influencing my current immediate opinion. But uh, it, very impressive that it can be this style and so well executed to not get bored at this point. What do you believe in? Heaven or hell? You don't believe in heaven because we're living in hell. You don't what believe do you in believe heaven. Boy, heaven or hell? You don't believe in heaven because we're living in hell. So what's your life? Great mix with the, with the backing vocals, the production's going on, these guys, kind of like the free spoke, free spoken word here. Great song. That's God. That felt like the fucking closer. That should have been. I mean, I obviously have not heard the last song yet, but that felt like the closer to the album. However, it does kind of just drop. So maybe these last four minutes we'll we'll wrap it up. Let's go through some of these lyrics. Yeah, you don't believe in heaven because you're living in hell. And I was saying earlier how you know, there's been some. Uh, some frustration expressed on how people are living and you know they need that woo wisdom to help them out and all this other shit and you know they think it's all about a hundred dollar little hundred dollars that makes you a man you ain't promised tomorrow word up you don't understand how life could be so short comes so fast within the blinking of an eye you're gone get turned to dust lose all your strength hmm let me I want to go through this this, this verse because it's pretty fucking good Wake it up, jump in the shower, about to make moves inside like grease, text, uh, guns down, making a pit stop, go buy a box of Glocks. Remember that kid we vicked? He had half a million for real. We brought about, we bought about, well, we brought about four bricks. So now we connect thoughts, meet me at the airport, tell Golden Arms, maintain the fort, get in touch with the West Coast Kelly Crab you stabbed. Again, I feel like there's story elements here that I, I just, I missed. I've missed, unfortunately kind of a difficult album to 
dissect and take apart and understand on one listen, on the first listen. Which is like a fat 412 bid and ship. Also some very uh, different slang and lingo. Heard Pook and Tyreek caught a beef over some real shit. A fake person faked and they killed his click. Give me a minute. I'm winning. You did it. Rock your vest. Keep your whip tinted. <laughs> They're going back. It's the, I like that it's the two of them going back and forth between each other. With 10 G's worth of gold bangles, what? All up in his face with his man's maze. Medallion's the size of dinner plates. He knew we knew him, so we blew him. Took 30 G's worth of jewels off him. Do him. So I'm lamping my man's land. Streets is hot like sand. Jesus rolling in my right hand. Hmm. Fucking with mad strangers. You don't believe in heaven because we're living in hell, so it's your life. What a chamber. Fucking with mad strangers. You know how it runs. Money, clothes, designer hose. <laughs> Shows, y'all. That's how it goes. Whatever. Huh. I like heaven and hell. I like that one, too. A lot of hearts. A lot of hearts on this playlist thus far. Let's conclude the album. Uh, it's featuring Papa Wu, North Stars. I don't know if I've ever heard Papa Wu before. Maybe? Oh, he was an expert on teachings of the five percenters. Oh, okay. Final track, North Star, featuring Papa Wu, produced by Riza. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my regular thing, man. So I'm going to get back up with you, though, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know you my nigga, kid. I'm going to always come through for you, baby. I got to say, man, this shit is real, man. All the so time. Real, man. Oh, no. Yo, man, that's sure real, man. Real. Yo, peace, rain, peace, God. What's up, baby? Your time is coming, baby. And see, sometimes it could be like a, a real Jew. You know what I'm saying? And people don't know when the blessing comes. But I watch you grow, baby, man. He's a very intelligent man. Man, I watch you when I just sit down and you can trick me out my money shooting dice, nigga. You crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, baby, you remember that shit, man? I want to touch on this line. People don't know where their blessings come. It's like a rear view. Sometimes it could be like a rear view. What's that saying? The trouble with the golden or the good old days is you don't know when they're happening until after they're gone, right? Yeah, and I, I want to talk on that, but I, I kind of want to keep going too, because really all I was going to do was just add my own kind of outside shit into it. But it's a, it's an important thing to consider, especially when you come off of the track "Heaven and Hell." Don't people don't believe in heaven because they're living in hell? And there are so many sayings that go around the idea of, you know, this doesn't last forever. The, you know, the bad, what is it? it's always darkest before the dawn, right? There's all these different sayings for, you know, the, t the bad times are temporary. So, you know, just keep moving forward. All this but the thing is, the good times are temporary too. And that doesn't mean that, you know, it's all going back to shit. It's all, or you're going to go back to hell. No, no, no. I'm saying in terms of the good old days and those, those great times, all I'm wanting to say is, you know, just try and be as present in you can in those good times. Because often, yeah, you do look back and go, man, that was great. That was great. And it's just over. <laughs> All of this shit goes so fast. I know a lot of my viewers are much younger than I am. But and we hear it all the time, right? The older you get, the faster time goes by. But it's fucking true. It's very, very true. And in this day and age, it's so easy to be distracted. So easy to be distracted. So just try and be present. And if you do try and be present and then you fail at it, don't kick yourself for it either. You just keep trying. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't beat yourself up for trying to be present and maybe not doing it well enough or meeting some sort of expectation that you've set for yourself. Just do what you can and just keep doing it. Because it does happen. One of these days you look back and go, oh shit, that, those were some good old days back then. And goddamn, I didn't even really... Why didn't I pay more attention, you know? Anyway, there's there's my fucking pointless rap that has nothing to do with the song. <laughs> I know all them things, but I'm watching you growing. But remember one thing, Ray, like I used to tell you? The child you was was making you the man you is today. That's that it be the Wu-Tang production. Start to knuckle up it. Gunshots start to click. The block's ducking. Could it be and would it be that we was babies? Catching rabies. Niggas seem to act crazy. Day one in my spot. July the 10th, I had a mint. Sticking up the vines, hitting them with nines. I was toxic from laying up with Roxy. So all night, this nigga bust a shot, lick my man's wife. It was havoc, I contacted Abbott. He 
he shook the shoulder though. Then he passed the fat cone automatic. We go on the war. You know we had it to the four. He wouldn't did it for me. Fuck it. Let's mosey. Scheming though with the PLO. Rap doing tight. Saying in my mic, yo, we gotta go. My first impression was to add some lessons. Question one, what made you even show your gun and blow the session? He replied and rocked the green eye. And yo, he started yelling, them niggas selling two for five. But he's a corner and I got my corner. What? I'm feeding my babies. Can't shoot for more than doing Ha. Huh. Cool way to fucking end it. Let's this this verse is really kind of almost feels like a summary for everything that we've just sat through in terms of the album, right? Start to knuckle up and gunshots start to click. The block's ducking. Could it be and would it be that he, we was babies catching rabies? It seemed to act crazy. Day one of my spot, July the tenth. I had a mint. Sticking up divines, hitting them with nines. I was toxic from laying up in Roxy's all night. So does that mean he's like drunk, hung over? Oxycontin. Yeah, yeah. This guy busted a shot, licked my man's wife. It was havoc. I contact the abbot. He shook the shoulder throw, though. Then he passed the fat chrome automatic. We're going to war. You, you know he had a two to four. I don't, I don't know if that's like a two versus four, like the odds, or if he had uh, a fucking... Uh, a sentence or something. He would have did it for me. Fuck it. Let's mosey. Scheming dough with the PLO wrapped on tight. Saying to my mic, yo, we got to go. My first impression was to ask some lessons. Question one. What made you even show your gun and blow the session? He replied and rocked the green eyes. Started yelling. Then people selling two for fives. Oh, no. He had a two to four. They're selling for two to fives. Two for five. Well, maybe. I don't know. But he's a goner now and I've got my corner. What? I feed my babies cash rules from morn to dawn. <clears throat> Crazy. It's like this. Hmm. Can I can I coalesce my thoughts? Can I put them all together here? We've we've had these elements. Uh, this started off with you know I don't want to be a drug dealer all my life. I want to you know I've got bigger dreams and all this other shit and different. You know the man's going insane. He's getting sucked into it. It's rainy days and all that kind of shit. And then you've got this little thing about a guy going to war. Now he's a goner. And I got my corner. And so it's it's almost like the end of the album loops back right to the beginning. You know, like it's a different person, but it's going to be the same outcome type of a deal. That's just the cycle, right? Huh. Huh. For no man is good and bad at the same time. Either he's good or he's bad. And I think that ties into the album theme as well, just because this duality of, you know, I want to, I don't want to be in the game. I want to get out. I got bigger dreams. I got bigger, bigger ideas for my life, but then also staying in it. Like you can't, yeah, you can't do both, right? You can't. That was a fucking cool ride. Really cool. Really cool. I think there's two elements that I enjoy the most. Well, you, what's cool about it is you can do it both ways. You can listen and pay close attention and hear the words and, and really focus on that and enjoy it. Or it's just because it is kind of a slower tempo, a slower pace, a little bit darker, you can just kind of have it on too, man. This is a cool fucking album. Very cool. <clears throat> I don't know what my favorite, favorite track was. Guillotine I remember enjoying quite a bit. Uh, the Wu Gambinos I enjoyed quite a bit. Heaven and Hell was cool too. Uh, but fucking all of them, really. I mean, I've got a lot of hearts here. I don't have hearts next to the skits, obviously. Uh, I did not put a heart next to ice water. I remember being confused by that one. Verbal intercourse was okay. Ice cream, whatever. It's just not quite my jam. Um, I mean, it's cool. It's not like it's bad. But it's certainly not as popular to me as it apparently is to everybody else. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that one's fucking cool. And I can envision myself already as I listen, as I do additional listens, you know, going forward this weekend and stuff. I, I feel like this album is just going to be cool to have on and just let it, just let it play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess that's it for 
Closing thoughts? Fuck, two and a half hours. <laughs> it's pretty standard. It's pretty standard. If you want to know what the average video length with me will be, take the album runtime and double it. That's about how it goes, usually. Okay, well, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to join Patreon, it's two bucks a month, over 100 albums uncut. I started doing the video reactions, so we're going to jump into that now. Oh, man. In memory of. Look at that fucking... God damn, dude. You know, that... That right there. Grab a pearl. Don't believe in heaven because you're living in hell, and it's pretty easy to feel like you're living in hell when you've got a long list of names to say rest in peace to, you know? Or in memory of. Huh. Huh. The fucking ice cream song. <laughs> Oh my God, man. Oh my God. I can't, I just can't imagine listening to that song. Seriously. Like, and again, like I was saying during the reaction, you know, the fucking, uh, the, the line that exists and how it shifts and moves around for people based off of, you know, their own opinions and their own biases and what's corny and cheesy and which is cool and badass and which is funny and uh, fucking ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <clears throat> almost three hours. A lot of work. I got to go to the bathroom. Cool album. Really enjoyed that album. I'm going to put it on again right now and start listening to it because I just like the, the style, the mood, the aesthetic, everything that goes with it. I know I feel like I didn't do a great job in terms of catching the story and maybe, you know, maybe I missed a lot of lyrics and hints and stuff like that, but it, it, it was pretty difficult to pick up on. Uh, but overall, very impressed. Very impressed. It's a, another experience for me where I'm surprised when people say, oh, no, this one's so good. Oh, yeah, fucking right. They're all so good. And you guys are always right. Like, this is really good. Really good. All right, y'all. Take care. We'll see you again soon.